Okay, so we were sitting here pondering, wandering, exploring our small, empty caverns of brains about guitars. We love guitars. We do love guitars. But what makes a guitar have soul? What Ooh. is the heart mm. of the guitar? Is it the pickups? Is it the body? Is it the neck? Is it, is it the fretboard? Is it the headstock? Is it the brand? You know, it's, there's so many things. The sweet relic. The sweet relic, or, yes, or the or the sweet poly thick finish, like ten coats of poly. Could be all kinds of things. Maybe that's it. Maybe like hey. I like a heavy guitar that can be used as a coffee table. Yeah, that's the soul for or like, a bludgeon. A bludgeon, or if I'm going to smash this on a national television show, like I'm, I don't want it to be covered with all the poly. <laughs> I want a thin, and Maybe. I want and I want a bolt on neck that can yes. that's un, that's loosened a little bit. A little, just a little, <clears throat> just enough. But anyway, so I'm soul. So Jonathan, you said a few things of what you thought. Was like, you know, you and Derek were sort of wrapping on the same idea. I mean, it's hard not to sort of think that it's that neck when you first feel it, how the neck feels in your hand. Because you can switch out pickups. Right. You know what I mean? You can change strings. You can change all these other things. Even, wait, wait, even wait. You can change strings? I mean, if you're going crazy. We're not recommending that, but you could. It's a lot of work. Okay, right. continue. I've had people think that you couldn't change strings. Actually, we were just kidding there. As a, as a, as a public service announcement, you can change your strings. And, I, and you should regularly. No, I had someone come in like, and this has happened multiple times. They come in like, oh, I need to get a new guitar. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong with it? That's anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, it's so we sold them a new guitar. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, this one's you better take broken. two because just they're going to wear um, yeah. just the metal truss rods across break the strings. <sighs> Anyways. Oh, yeah. So a neck. So, um, so the neck, sh I, I could be an advocate for the soul, the feel, the thing that makes you go, ah, this and, is amazing. And I will say, not that I'm a wise and old you know, wizard, like, I used to think that too. I used to be like, the neck is the most important thing to me on a guitar. Right. It no longer is. It's, um, I can play any guitar neck and I will find my joy within that in a different way. I don't, I expect, I got to have a small C, got to have an oval C. I got then I started being like, oh, I want to have a big C now. Now I want to have a 1056 V is like one of my favorite necks. I like U's. I like the Gibson 59s. I like a Gibson 61. It doesn't matter to me at all anymore. It, isn't that funny? So I had a similar, I mean like. You have an epiphany? Well, I think so because it doesn't happen often, but. I mean, I, I'm the same way, right? There was a time when I thought I liked this this sort of small C, and then I was like, oh, I like chunky necks. And now it, that matters less, but sometimes I'll play two large Cs, and one is like, oh. Right. And the other's like, eh. So, I mean, I don't think necessarily saying that the neck is the, the thing that gives it that, that soul means, oh, it's got to be a U, or it's got to be a D, or it's got to be right. an oval C. I think there could be really good or not so good versions within the same carve, especially when you get into custom shop boutique stuff where there's that sort of like hand carved element. Right. Because you know, as well as I do, sometimes we get two large C's and they're very different. They're all the same. He's wrong. He's lying. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go out on limb. And it's my last day. I've just been fired up. No. Uh, fired. Did Derek fire you again? Okay. Yeah. Um, or Sean did. That'd be fun. That'd be really funny if Sean fired cool. me. Yeah, you should make him do that later. Um, no, I, I'm gonna go on a limb and say I think the body might be the soul in a stranger. Like when I, and it's not the thing you necessarily touch. I'm. And this is gonna get some people like it's all about the pickups. And don't get me wrong, the pickups are definitely a soul element too. But a lot of people change those pickups. Yes. You know. If but if I have like let's say I'm gonna go vintage for a minute. If I have like a, hmm. I have a chance for like a '64 Strat body that's you know doesn't have anything in it. I could run with that and put some new pickups and a new neck on that, and I'd be boogieing. I think there's something elemental and just musically charismatic about the idea of this vintage wood. I think wood matters more than that's that's what people go, no, it's just pickups. No, I think wood actually really matters on your electric guitar, and it matters on your acoustic guitar. Wood matters. It it will affect the tone because I can play. I've we've done it before. Where we take like the same pickups, put it in like a really crappy piece of wood and you put in a nice piece of wood there's some resonance to it if i can strum that electric guitar and there's resonance without plugged in it's gonna be a good guitar it's a better guitar yeah it's um so and there's something just there's the mojo factor to an old vintage body to me um, and the, i want a comfortable neck I, I would agree with the 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 soul and the in the body because there is something about that's what you interact with when you feel it and your arm touches it and 
you look down and it's like, oh, it's more. I mean, because I like things that are. Well, even if it's a new one, if it's like, if it's good wood too, like, like, so I'm like, if it's like some old, like, couple hundred pieces, like, like sinker, like some, been under like a bog, like some old pine that they're making these great guitars out of, like, something magical about that. There's the, there's the journey of that wood. It's become, it, was, it lived its life as a tree. Then it was just like trash tree underwater for a hundred years. You guys are just like, help, what am I gonna be next? And then it becomes a guitar. Bam. That's a cool, pa- like there's some cats making those guitars out in Detroit right now that are, it's really cool. So when you talk about the resonance and it being loud, I mean, part of that too is the neck being fitted to the body yep. well, which makes me believe that perhaps the answer is actually it's the sum of all those things. We're already there. I was gonna go further. I, I mean, we got the pickups too. <laughs> Who cares about pickups? The pickups don't matter at all for the Santa Electric. <laughs> <laughs> pickups do matter, but no, but now you and I, we're not really pickup swappers. No, I don't swap. I usually like the, unless the, I've swapped a couple times, but in general, like I think if I'm getting a guitar from the Fender Custom Shop, they probably put in some great guitar pickups to match that. When you're gonna, you're gonna buy a guitar that you already like the pickups. I'm gonna spec it out. It's, yeah. um, and, even with like Les Pauls, I don't, there's all sorts of boutiques. And we had one of my, my dear friends and great, great buddies. Like he got these great, like super expensive pickups from overseas, put them in his Les Paul. It sounded worse. It did something weird. Like everyone, I had multiple people. It was like, what? Cause we heard the guitar before. It's like, that guitar is amazing. It was one that of those, was with the stock pickups, right? The it was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. It sounded, it was one of those like, um, God, I can't remember. It was one, it was one of those like signature type, not a signature series, but one of those like limited runs they did of like right. somebody's historic Les Paul. It was, I can't remember which one. It was so good. It, that's when I was like, I have to have Gibson Custom Shops. We have to get yeah. those in the shop because it, it was more. like a Dwayne Allman kind of thing. It wasn't Dwayne Allman. It, wasn't that one? it was it was something else. It was close of that John, but it was so good. And then they put these yeah. new yeah, what? Oh no no no! I was oh, just agreeing. I wasn't sure if you you remember the guy's name. I was like, yes, we can't. That would revolve involve research. Um, no, it was it, the pickups. Just, it sort of killed the guitar or something. I was like, oh, then they put the originals back in. I was like, it, was, eh, it never quite made it back. It did something. I don't know if like it was like it, it was like having like open heart surgery on this killed guitar. Killed the soul. It might have killed the soul. Or something. Kills, don't or kill maybe, your guitar. Or maybe soul. we just couldn't get our brains back. I think that's probably part of it, right? It's kind of like it's like it's like your lady cheated on you, you know, and like and I couldn't. It's like you know I couldn't get over it. Yeah, it was, it was wrong. I definitely don't think the knobs are the sole or the tuning bags. You have to have triple locking vintage style, high ratio tuner. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I didn't know where yeah, you were gonna go with that. I, was, I, was, I thought you were gonna get some baby matter. Yoda thing. No one cares. But no, it's, um, I think it is, like Jonathan said, it's a sum, sum of all sort of equals the soul. I'm sticking with the body, sort of my main thing, but it, it is, and like it's in the soul like from like a new, like perfectly made Ibanez, it's like an old vintage Fender, Gibson, or Gretsch even. Right. Um, most of the vintage Gretsches aren't that good. <laughs> Every once in a while, you find like a winner winner. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it is. It's it's a sort of a collaboration of all these pieces talking well together. To each other, yeah. And with new or old, because even with the Fender Custom Shop, there's certain ones that we get in that it's just on fire. Because they're all good, but yes, every now and again, one is just... Amazing. There's that. I mean, that that hardtail that came in like a week ago so or something. So good. It's so light. It's resonant. It has the the pickups are right. The neck is it's just set in there just right. It was a great setup. Yeah. And that's part of the soul too. I think is like the guitar being properly positioned, especially with like a, a bolt on neck. Because like some of these guys, you I've seen a lot of guys like get their guitar from the from Fender and it's and we'll check them all and they're set up great yeah. usually and then they'll go take it to the luthier for the luthier set up and it fouls the whole thing up sometimes because like I want to get it set up how I like it to set up I get that I respect it I do the same thing sometimes but man sometimes the guitar is set up so right and then like they go there and like they might they'll do something goofy to it they'll be shimming out the neck I'm like don't shim it oh it didn't need shims and like, oh don't don't yep. do the truss rod again like that oh no the saddles were fine why'd you do it just tweak the bridge how you want. Get the sounds a little bit more. Don't right. don't rebuild the guitar. They, usually, when you're at the level of certain guitars, like they know how to do it. And that's sort of what you're. I mean, that's part of the experience, right? Is getting a guitar from the custom shop or from whoever that's got that set up, and it's you know. Or you like the guys at Loudon in Ireland. Like the, yeah. the dudes on Final Setup are like they know they're probably the best at acoustic guitar Final Setups in the world. Like that guitar is going to come set up. Pretty on point. It's. A, I don't think I've ever had to like tweak a loud. Right. Even like, coming 
I certainly from don't, Ireland. I know. I, I don't want to either because it's really hard to get the trust right on those things. It's True. like this. Like I don't know why they did it. They put like a giant bracing strip right in front of like the. And you have to, oh my god! Yep. Why would you guys do that and not include a proper trust rod bar for it? But um, we have to figure it out. Like Jerry, bring your hands in the sand hole, and you have these massive hands. You can't. You not work on now then. Yeah, um, that's true. No, but like the Fender Custom Shop usually set up on point. Yes, it's that's something totally random. Like I, I get, we've had a few calls like in the past. Like people calling, like, do you guys have a plug machine at the shop? I'm like, no, we don't. We don't plug guitars here. And if we did, we would not be smart enough to use it. That's confusing. That's where the manufacturers have those. We don't have one for ourselves at this point. But it's I just I mean, think, there's a few cool shops to do. But we are we are not, not quite that. there. No, I don't we're have not, a plug that's machine. Not, that's not crazy. I don't, that's that's scary. That's science. I like I, don't, I like the old fashioned stuff. So yeah, souls and guitars, it, it can be almost anything. It can be almost anything. And like, I mean, that's a good point that you just raised about the setup. Like maybe a lot of it is in how that guitar is set up. That's funny, isn't it? How we got there. A setup on a guy, cause I played some mean classic vibe squires. That were on, set up just- Set up right. Fun, just, yeah. I fire. played some that play like a squire, but I played some that play like a custom shop. But I've played some custom shops that people have messed with that Played like squires. Too, we've well. had this one gentleman. He would he would buy custom shops and and then he'd go home and tweak them and they didn't want to sell them back. I'm like, Wait, I, uh, you, you've done something to this. I don't know what it is. It's not it's right. Not very good anymore. I cannot buy that back. And the, what you've done to this, right? They were like the, again the shimming and like the the guys that want to buy is finally perfectly set up machines. It's like I'm gonna do an engine rebuild real quickly. And it's not as if like a really good tech couldn't get you back there, but I do think it does something to you mentally when you play it. Set up great, and then all of a sudden, ugh, it's not. Right, yeah, and this is a whole other subject. And then you, you can put it okay right back. Yeah, you can put it right back to the same. You could have measured it, you know, to to point zero zero millimeters or whatever. And it's eh, sometimes it just. I think it's. I do think it's psychological, where you're like, okay, this is not right anymore. This isn't the same. No, because like our proper luthiers, like they, they'll be doing all those measurements. Like I'm more of an eyeball. I want to get myself. I, I can. Right. I can see it and feel it. And when I've Especially done on our own guitars. Yeah, yeah I, I know what I like. And um, it's not that complicated. Also, it goes the other way because sometimes I'll buy a guitar that is set up amazingly and then, you know, over years of playing it and you kind of half set it up. Like Sean picked up my red telly the other day and said it played horribly. <laughs> Oh. But I love the way it plays. To me, it has, I mean, and the frets have gotten like really low, and you know, it's probably I, I, I never do refrets either, so I, you know, that doesn't bother me. So you know, I mean, there is probably something that once you bond with a guitar and you get used to it, and it changes as you're playing it every day. There's yeah. some soul in that too, where another person. Wait, did, maybe did your soul actually go into the guitar? It could happen. That's awesome. Well, hey, soul, soul, soul. Let us know what you think about souls. Yes, and guitars. Hmm. Right. So. <laughs> No, I'm leaving. What, what? I'm leaving this right now. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Hit like and subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell. We'll see you guys next time.